All right, guys, how's it going today? So there's, there's big red, big red. So uh, me and big red are hanging out. We're doing some more stuff for the 1586. Not sure what the hell that was. It was like a little dirt bike or something. I don't know, but anyways, uh, I think it's above 55 degrees. The phone said 54, but with the wind, it's like. 49 but it's supposed to warm up slowly as the day goes on it's about 1 30 getting maybe closer to 2 um but i think it's going to be slightly warmer in the shop just because there's no wind the wind's not really getting in here so plus it's a south wind so the wind's going to be warm so this thing is saying a little bit above 55 and you have to be at least above 55 or whatever to spray paint but I am spray painting the uh, hydraulic extension remotes for the uh, 1586. So I got all three here and they got the little black things on the floor. I was gonna put them on the bench, on that little bench there and uh, paint them, but then I was like, ah, then you have to flip it and all that stuff. and. This way I think the paint cures just a little bit better, but you know, I can't really see it anyway, but um, it doesn't say on the back of the can uh, how long the wait between each layer of paint that you put on. So I am just going to guess, I guess, and uh, wait a few minutes and then, uh, yeah tells you how to do the can like you know shake it for two three minutes before spraying um says how not to get the paint in your eyes or anything like that you know safety stuff and then it says how far apart to be from the can and whatever you're spraying so you got to be 10 inches to a foot away from your spring you know so i'm probably not quite that but yeah, it, it doesn't say how long to wait. It doesn't say that. I've read this whole entire freaking thing and just... And it just says to be... Uh, um, kind of just tells you kind of what to do too. Like if you're removing old paint or something. Um, just to be careful because you could be releasing lead or whatever. I imagine these, these newer paints are lead free I guess now but yeah I don't know how long to wait so I guess I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes and then I'll throw on another layer um yeah I guess one can would have been plenty but actually I'm going to probably do probably going to paint I might paint the remotes that are in the tractor as well the factory ones just because the paint's missing on them um I want them to look a little neater and then I got to kind of repaint it anyway because I want to paint the bolts that go in. So I want that to look, you know, like it was almost like a factory thing. But I didn't bring the bolts with me with me because I'm going to paint those when I install these back on the tractor. But I got to get the bulk of it done. I still got to do the sides yet. I haven't done the sides, but they're going to be a little trickier. But... Yeah, but there is a nice shine going on there now. So, actually, maybe I'll put a layer on with you guys. And it's actually kind of tricky, too, because... Um, well, I do it right-handed, so I don't know, but... It's just tricky because th these damn things like to move on you. See how they move. And then you gotta do the sides. I think I'm a little closer than a foot, but I'm trying to be careful too because I don't want to breathe in too much of this paint. Well, I got a run going on. That's not great news. That's because I'm too close, so I got to run in the paint. 
Yeah, I'm getting runs in the paint, and that's why. I got to be careful too, because I don't want to breathe in too much of this paint. I don't have a a mask on that's designed for paint. Because I don't do enough painting anyway to, I guess, to justify uh, buying a mask, so. Stop moving, you little bastard. But, there's some red paint floating there. So I'll kind of let that disappear a little bit, because that's where I gotta walk. <laughs> So, okay, hold your breath. All right. All right. Now we'll step outside and get some air. Try not to touch them because they're wet again. Yeah, I guess I could have gotten away with just one can. I guess I didn't realize, uh, I still smell the paint coming out. I didn't realize that they would, uh, I mean, I guess I should have figured that, but you know, a little extra paint don't hurt anyway, because you know what, I can paint other stuff. Um, I was going to paint, um, actually what I could paint, um, that third step thing that I built for the 1586 a couple of years ago, that third step that I built for it, I could re I could paint that. I haven't painted that yet, and I guess I can now. Just unbolt the son of a bitch and uh, and then bolt it, you know, paint it, and then bolt the sucker back on. I don't know if that'll have a sh I don't know if that'll have a shine to it when it's fully dry, or if it'll just kind of go to a you know, basically a no gloss, no shine type of paint. I don't care either way. I'm all right with it. As long as it's not, I guess, shiny like a mirror. I don't want a shiny mirror, you know, paint job. Either a low gloss or a no gloss shine is basically what I'm looking for. And this is just International Harvester Red and, and New Holland Red. So we'll let that, we'll let that air out. But like I said, I don't do enough painting to justify really buying a paint mask type of thing, but it wouldn't hurt, I guess, to have a cheap one around. But, um, yeah, I, when I started spraying, I was a little bit too close, and I think that's why I got the runs, but when it comes out, it's, it's already a thick, uh, um, a thick... Yeah, look at that run. Damn it. That's what I was trying to fucking avoid was the runs. But, again, I'm not a, prof a professional painter either. So there's nothing that I can do about that. They say to stay at least a foot apart, and that's what I should have done, but, you know, the runs are there now. So, what is that damn noise? Holy shit, are you going to break something? What the hell's going on over there? But damn. But yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping not for runs. But I see a little run right there. This is the first remote, the one that's the closest to you. And I got to run on that side. Son of a bitch. You can't see it because the camera's wanting to focus on the outside. But... Yeah, yeah, and I'm painting, of course, where the knobs would go because put a little thin layer of paint on that, and that might stiffen it up a little bit more. At oh yeah, and then I got to paint the top of that and the bottom top of that. But yeah, not bad though. Not bad for the good paint. I don't know how good quality this paint is, but. Paint's paint, I think, pretty much. No matter where you buy it, it's all the same. Like I said, I was going to paint him on this thing because this is my painting 
table, as you can see. But I decided it'd probably be better just to hang them. Uh oh, Bobcat's out with the big giant forks. Going in, coming in hot, boys, coming in hot. Well, he's probably got a big load he's gonna go pick up or something but yeah oh, i don't like when the wind picks up because then these things kind of fly around but that's probably kind of a good thing too the wind will kind of help dry it so that one's really blowing the rest of them ain't blowing too bad but the wind's kind of coming in and then hitting there more yeah son of a bitch damn runs that pisses me off but what can I say? I'm not a I'm not a uh, professional painter either, so I don't do this for a living. And I'm glad I don't do it for a living because people would not be happy with their paint jobs on their vehicles or, you know, if I was making more of these for people. Yeah, they wouldn't like that. So. But that's pretty much uh, how it's going to go for the rest of the day. Um. I'm not even sure how much paint to put on because honestly, it's looking pretty good now. It's looking like it's like it's enough. Uh, this one's actually in the sun, so I can see it a little better. I can see a little bit of a run right here. Not too bad. A little bit more of a run right there. Not terrible, but. This one's facing the wrong way, but I imagine it's got runs in it. No, no runs on this. A uh, little bit of running right here, but no big deal because the knob's going to cover that up anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how that's going to go. This is this was the first one I did, of course, well, obviously never do your first ones your first remotes with the first paint because this is the one that's obviously going to be like it really matters i guess but i'm just i'm, I'm picky that way so this is the one that i'm going to be using most of the time you know obviously when you're using hydraulics so it's important that it looks its best and it's not its best there's a little bit there's not much running on that side, I guess. I'm not seeing much for runs. I think it's just on this side. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the side that actually goes into the remote. So you may not even see that. I don't know. But yeah, I don't like... Uh, one thing is they don't... I mean, I guess you should know if you've had experience with painting i guess you ought to know how to paint but it just doesn't say um well i, I guess you just put on as many layers as you, th as you think you need i guess that's why it doesn't say anything about that but it just says how far away to stay and and uh shake the can up and then, and it says that if the cans are cold, you can put them in warm water, maximum of 90 Fahrenheit for five minutes for best results, I guess. So I don't know, I think today is a good day to be, to be painting, but you know how she goes. I'm not a professional painter, so. That's kind of how it runs, but I might do, like I said, the factory remotes that are in the tractor as well. I might just touch them up a little bit because they could use some paint on them. And then probably could even run and go do that now while these are curing. But I got to get some uh, newspapers and stuff just so I'm not getting paint on everything else. But that's looking good, though. I mean, it's it's going to match. Um, 
I guess I'll just put one more layer on and then I gotta touch up other areas that I missed, which is the bottom of that, the top of that. I want because I want everything to look good. Same thing with all the rest of them. I need another layer on the sides actually. And then I will go to the house, grab some newspapers, and maybe go touch up those other remotes. Because they're gonna need a few hours to dry as well, just like this is gonna need a few hours to dry. But I imagine you wait probably a few minutes for the paint to cure before you can throw on another layer. Again, it doesn't say how long to wait, so I'm kind of just kind of just winging it at this at this time. So, but looking good though, looking good. I like it. So it looks like there's still going to be. There might still end up being a shine in the paint because I don't know how dry this is now. But looks like there is going to be a shine in the paint, which which is fine. It's not going. It's not going to matter. So, anyway, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. I'm going to paint these some more. I got to put another thin layer on the sides here, and then. I guess there is some on top, but I probably, I think I'm pretty sure I got some on the top. Yeah, I did a little bit. I will uh, touch them up, put another layer of paint on, and then I'm going to go to the house and grab some newspaper. Actually, I guess I got some paper here. I guess I do. Well, good. There should be plenty there to do what I got to do. So, yeah, and guys, I guess I'm going to take off. I will give you guys an update to how these look I guess when they're installed on the tractor like I said I still want to paint the bolts and everything too that goes with it so because once I put them on I'm most likely not going to take them off again so it doesn't really matter if I paint them and the paint glues the nuts down as long as these don't break then obviously I'm okay with it I'll never touch it but if they should break for some stupid reason well, then I'm just going to have to rebuild them Never mind, you know, the paint. I ain't going to care then, but. Yeah. So I guess it's pretty late, guys. I'm going to take off. I'm going to throw another layer on, and then I'm going to head to the farm. Spray those remotes on the tractor, just so they're, uh, you know, ooh, that's really going nuts there. I got to be careful, too, because they're not in there. They're not tied to anything, they're just sitting up there. I just bent the wire flat and it's just sitting up there. So I gotta be really careful about that. Don't like that he's going nuts. I guess I could move it and I don't think it'll hurt it. Cause I don't just, it might stay, but. I don't know, that might make it, I don't know, I'd only moved it like a foot, but sometimes a foot is all you need. And then you're, you're better. So, all right, I'm gonna take off, guys. I'm going to, like I said, put put, put another layer on. Head to the farm. I'm gonna paint paint those remotes just to clean them up, make them look decent, and then, uh, yeah. And then maybe if I get these things dried today, maybe I'll try to do that third step. <clears throat> And then uh, should be golden. So, but yeah, leave me your leave me your comments on what you think. I know there's runs in the paint, but I'm not a professional painter. But I know South Saskatchewan farmer he would be cringing at this right now because it's not green paint. And he doesn't like red paint. So, but this is going to make him cringe. But. It is what it is. He does John Deere. I do red. So if, if green was cheaper, I probably would be going with green as well. But, you know, I grew up I grew up with red tractors. So that's what I'm going to be dealing with. But that's all right. So, all right, guys, I'm going to take off. So I will see you guys later. Uh, I'll give you guys an update on how all this turns out. Yada, 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 yada. So... Yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.